Hi, we're the Adventure Cruise and welcome to Freeport, Grand Bahama. Whether you are coming here by cruise ship, plane, or in our case, sailboat, these are the top five things you don't want to miss while you're here. Freeport is the second largest city in the Bahamas, located just 55 miles east of Florida. Grand Bahama Island is nestled among miles of white sandy beaches, nature preserves, and beautiful waters. The best way to see the island is to hire a local tour guide, but that can get expensive really fast. We found the best way was to rent a car. For about $50 a day and $10 worth of fuel, we were able to hit the pavement and the potholes to see as much as we could. Seriously though, you gotta watch out for potholes. If you rent a car, it's best to have it booked at least a week in advance. Many of the rental car services will even pick you up with the car and drop you off after. Here's a pro tip for you. Make sure you stay left on the roadways. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, so this means I would go that way or around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go that way. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, go through the roundabout. Oh All right. <laughs> You've got to teach me how to drive over here. Grand Bahama spans 96 miles from east to west. Number five on our list. If you come to the Bahamas and you don't have this, did you even come to the Bahamas? If you haven't had conch salad while you're in the Bahamas, you are missing out. We are at Taino Beach here at Terry's Conch Stand and just outside of Freeport, we are gonna go inside and grab some conch salad. Come on inside and join us. Conch salad is one of the most popular Bahamian dishes that is both a flavorful comfort food and a colorful and fresh work of art. Conch salad is made with uncooked conch meat. You can think of it as a type of ceviche made with key lime juice, bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, and fresh squeezed orange juice. That is awesome. Fresh conch salad here in Grand Bahama. Terry's Conch Shack, can't get any better than this. Number four on our list. Another place you have to come to when you're in Freeport is Sands Brewery. They offer tours Monday through Friday and it's the only true Bohemian beer. I say that because there's two Bohemian beers, but this is the only one that's actually brewed here in the Bahamas. Now, after doing some research, I can't quite confirm that this is exactly true. It does appear that Click is brewed in Nassau, but Click is also owned by Heineken, not a Bohemian company. Bohemian Brewery and Beverage Company is 100% Bohemian owned and operated. The popular Sands beer is named after Jimmy Sands, the owner and CEO. The brewery produces nine different brands of beer. After the tour, we got to taste all of them. Cheers. Coming in at number three. So this is a 40 acre park and it encompasses over six miles of underwater caves, taverns, and tunnels. It's actually one of the uh, largest underwater cave systems in the world right here in the park. And the Lucayan National Park is now the second most visited national park in the Bahamas. It's $12 for adults to get into the park. The Lucayan National Park is also home to preserved remains of the Lucayan Indians and a prime combination of natural environments, including pine forests, mangroves, creeks, coral reefs, and the world famous Gold Rock Beach. This park encompasses all of the Bahamian vegetative zones. Number two on our list. You're going to love this place and you'll go on an adventure to get there too. Owl's Hole is a beautiful inland freshwater blue hole. Its namesake is after barn owls, one of the two kinds of owls found on Grand Bahama Island. These owls mate and nest on the many ledges of the cave, although we didn't see any during our visit. There's a perfectly good ladder for getting down into the blue hole. Or if you prefer more of a heartthrob like Cole, you can take the plunge 25 feet down. To see our full adventure in Freeport, click the video at the top. If you're enjoying this travel guide, smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up so other people can see this video too. Thank you so much. Back to the show. We saved the best for last. Number one on our list. 
While in Grand Bahama, you've got to check out Coral Vita here behind me. They are a coral farm where they are restoring coral from coral reefs here in the ocean. Yeah, it's really cool. So this farm is taking little tiny pieces of coral from the reefs and growing, bringing it back, putting it in their tanks and growing it much, much faster than it would ever be able to grow in the wild. The work these guys are doing is seriously so impressive. Coral reefs are the most diverse habitats on Earth. They make up less than 1% of the ocean, but are home to nearly 25% of all ocean species. Right now, this is the spa treatment for corals. And corals are kind of like that friend who you really can't take anywhere because they're just going to complain about everything. They're very, very specific, very fussy. You know, oh, this is too hot, or this is too cold, or this tastes disgusting, never coming back to this restaurant. Corals are, are kind of like that. Coral Vita is using cutting edge technology to grow corals up to 50 times faster, while at the same time boosting their resilience. Through a process known as coral farming, they take fragments of corals collected from local reefs and raise them in tanks just like these until they're mature. Once mature, they then transplant them back into the wild. We had a chance to talk with Coral Vita co-founder, Sam Teicher, about the work they're doing. I've been a scuba diver since I was a kid. I love the ocean. Coral reefs are one of the most magical ecosystems on the planet. They're also one of the most important. There's up to a billion people and a quarter of all marine life that depends on this single ecosystem, which also powered tourism economies, sheltered coastlines from storms, and sustained fisheries. But we've lost half the world's coral reefs since the 1970s, and we're currently on track to lose over 90% by 2050 because of climate change and pollution, overfishing because of us. So the best thing to do for coral reefs is to stop killing them, which means solving for those challenges, but that's clearly not happening fast enough. And just like we can grow trees for reforestation, we're part of a global community growing corals for reef restoration. And we're doing this using breakthrough methods to grow corals in months instead of decades, toughen them up against things that are killing them, and then using a mission-driven business model. So thinking about all those values that reefs provide, we sell restoration as a service to hotels, developers, governments, insurance companies, our farms are tourism attractions like the one I'm standing at here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Uh, we give people the opportunity to adopt corals or even work with companies to sponsor restoration. And then are looking at the whole world of conservation finance uh, in order to help fund ecosystem scale impact so we can keep reefs alive for the future. We hope you found this travel guide to be not only valuable, but also exciting. And we invite you to join us every single week here on YouTube for our latest adventure. That is right. And if you go and check out any of these places you saw in the travel guide, let us know what you think about them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And we hope you enjoyed these places as much as we did.